fryer. Well, being outside downtown, man, you got all these noises. Texarkana FYI dot com and Hornhog Radio with Al Green, Gary Sampson. Uh, you guys are out here at Cross Ties at the uh, the Green outside here. Wait, no more porta potties. Just to be honest, but it's the benefit. Sure I got it covered, right? <laughs> benefit for Baby Blake. Al, you just about got everything ready. We we got everything pretty much ready right now. Yeah. We uh, I still got more oxygen stuff to pick up today, and we've got poker runs, bike shows, car shows, all kind of stuff going on. Starting at eight o'clock uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday, uh, June twelfth, here in downtown Texarkana, bike show, car show. It'll be all down Broad Street here in front of Cross Ties, bikes. All back here on the green, there's going to be two bands, um, the vendors, food. Vendors, I know, food. I talked to uh, snow cones. I, I want to tell you, I, I added somebody. I talked to Miss uh, uh, Helen, Miss Helen, uh, from a local church. They have a program designed for for new blended families, step you know, stepmom, right. stepfathers. And, and programs and they have some literature and I told them they were more than welcome to come out here uh, tomorrow all day if they want to and, and hand, out, out literature. hand out literature because you know there's a lot to bring in families together sometimes and I just think this is a good Especially opportunity. when you have a stepmom that's moved in with the dad. You know that's just it uh, blended families and, and it's a lot to deal with and some people have trouble and, and, and some don't but but uh, they're going to be down here. The bounce houses for the kids, we're going to have stuff for the kids down here. There will be snow cones, and entertainment. It's just uh, uh, going to be a big day for Blake. Tell us the latest, Gary. Now, Blake's your grandson. Yes, sir. Tell us, tell us the latest. Well, right now he's been moved out of the ICU, and he's into a pre-regular room, like not quite regular room yet from what I gather. But... He's uh, doing most his breathing on his own. He does, has the trach in, they assist him at night. He's starting to notice when people talk to him, like he'll look at them and oh, stuff like good. that. So, But they're not sure he's focusing. It's just still one day at a time, one day at a time. But, but just the fact that you know it can draw his attention, that's, right. that's a really good sign. It's small steps, but it's steps, and we'll take all of them we can get. That's right, prayers are working for baby Blake. Um, but again, this is uh, to benefit the Dwight Neville Memorial Foundation Fund. Um, Al Green heading that up for our, our good friend uh, Dwight, who's gone on to Golden Grounds. And uh, in his honor, uh, I, I think it's it's great that uh, that everybody's stepping up, all the riders around town, all the bikers, everybody getting involved the way they are. And, and this is going to be huge. So uh, come out here. The entertainment, there's really no fee, but all donations are, are encouraged please and and actually there'll be a justice for blake that's yep. a petition that miss lisa who couldn't couldn't make it today miss lisa has this going this it's justice for blake is a is a movement for a lot can you tell us a little it's bit? to uh what it's for is it's to like severe criminals that hurt a child to this level or you know, to this kind of injury, I guess would, would be what, class A or class one or whatever felony that they're not eligible for bond until court. Yes. So that they can't be out roaming around while the child is still in the hospital, kind of in, like in our case. Yeah. You know, he's out roaming around while Blake is still for what, almost two months now, still in the hospital and probably. What's this anymore. guy's name again? Charles Brooks Charles Jr. Brooks Jr., yeah. He has been charged with it and arrested and bonded and now awaiting trial yeah okay and meanwhile you know blake maybe not fighting for his life at the moment like he was for right. so long for like the first month and a half that's but you also got to consider that it might turn right back around for a little bit and come back to him well that's true that's he true. got he got his head got messed up pretty good for a while where pressure's on his brain was swelling and going back down, back and forth, back and forth. And you see how long it's been. And it's, it, I mean, it could still start again. This is one of them situations to where he, he could go back to the back a little ways, but then he'd come back forward too. That's what it seems like most of us like. 
three steps forward, two back, three up, two back. It seems like it seems like that's what it is all along. You know, he starts getting better, then he gets a, then you hit a point where you feel like it's not better, and he kind of falls back or stays stale, and then he'll go a little more forward. Bless your heart. Man. It's it's a long deal, and it's probably gonna be and a long deal. And it's going to be a long deal, and that's what we know for a fact. What we do know is that the costs are mountainous. I mean. The, the bills are already coming and they're they're huge anything we can do to help I know Al we were talking last time we got together down here we talked about how uh, you know once he gets home here uh, you know he may need uh, this machine or that machine and that's where the Dwight, that's where Neville, Dwight Neville Memorial comes in because we will buy whatever he needs you know up to whatever amount no matter, as long as we have money in the account just for this, then we're fine. This will not be the only one of these that we're going to do for him because we're going to come back around and maybe another two or three months or next year, but we're going to still come back around and try to raise more money again for the same situation. I think money for his to pay his bills. I think everybody in the community is on board with that. I mean, that's a right. great idea. Right. Um, because Blake's coming home, and uh, we just hope soon. Well, I'm praying that it's quick, and but you know that's the thing about patience. You're, we're having to learn patience for sure. Well, Granddad, <laughs> we're praying for you too. Oh, I love you. I'd rather have him focused on Blake, to be honest. Well, I, I know you would, but uh, we're going to get that boy home, and and we're going to raise some funds to help, and we're going to start this tomorrow at 8 a.m. Downtown Texarkana. Is that when the the poker run kicks off, or what's the plan? We're going to get them up together and send them out about, I'm going to start maybe around 9.30 or 10. On the poker run? On the poker run. Got to give them a time to get around, because and, and we don't know how many is going to be on the poker run. I was told, for some, I was told yesterday, for some coming out of Longview, there's a bunch coming, a whole bunch of them coming out of Louisiana. There's some coming out of, uh, Henderson area, wherever. I know there's a bunch of motorcycle clubs that, that this has caught their attention, and they'll, yeah. they'll be coming for that too. Um, and, and and again, with all you know, it's a busy weekend in Texarkana. The weather's going to be hot, humid, but a lot going on. So no matter what event you're attending, if you could make time to stop by here and drop off a dollar, fifty cents, anything, uh, it, it's going to Baby Blake and uh, getting him home in his care. So we'd love to see you down here, even if it's just for a few minutes. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Come shake but my hand. I'll tell you anything. We're, we're expecting it to be 8 to eight to 4. Right. Eight, 8 to 4-ish. Uh, but bike show, car show, vendors, bands, jump houses, arts and crafts. Good food. Oh, Good man, food. it just... It, it's really turned into a huge thing because... Uh, we all know the story, right. and, and and it's it's horrific. And as a community, we're coming together for for an innocent for a baby. I mean, one of ours, and, and it's it's grown into such a, a giant thing that we we hope you're all able to come down here and, and be a part of it. Gary, um, man, is there anything else we can do leading up to this? I mean, everybody's been so great. Everybody's done more than I would have ever thought they would have. I mean, we're thankful for the prayers that everybody gives. A lot of prayers. We need many prayers. How, how are y'all doing with, like, gas money getting back and forth to the hospital? And stuff? Well, right now we can't get in the hospital because of COVID. Well, so we're okay. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. Thank you on that. So, okay. All right. I mean, there's been a lot of people donate, you know, cash for that and stuff, and we've been more grateful for it. we still working on it. Getting by. Well, you know, anything we can do to help. So, so again, this is happening June 12th, Saturday. That's tomorrow here in downtown Texarkana on Broad Street at Cross Ties. And, and on the green, the rail fence, what used to be rail fence, I don't even know if we call it that anymore. The plaza. That, that used to be called rail fence. Front Street Plaza. Is that yeah. what it is now? That sounds what, right. Front Street. That's what it is today. So, <laughs> come on out here. I know there'll be crawfish, there's going to be barbecue, there's going to be. Yeah, they're going to cook something, yeah. Oh, you want them to cook it right now? No. <laughs> but, and then tonight is the daddy-daughter dance. You going in for that? 
Yeah, we're doing that. Horn Hog Radio just does that. Oh, so. Horn Hog. I mean, you gonna find somebody to dance with? No, man. All my little girls, they're all spread. They're all gone. <laughs> they're old enough. They don't want to dance with daddy <laughs> yeah, no more. Yeah, they're all grown up. They got their own little girls. I, I'd like to bring my granddaughters, but they're all busy, so I don't know how that is. But, uh, but they got daddies that should be here tonight, so right. uh, hopefully we'll see them. Uh, but again, you guys will be out here bright and early tomorrow morning. And old so, Eight o'clock. A lot going on downtown Texarkana. Benefit for uh, Baby Blake. Yeah, yes, sir. Right.